Okay, I'm working on this and I am shitting myself. This is my prototype board. That's going to be the final version and I don't want to mess it up because it's going to have 20 of these things on it. Uh, or 19 I think, anyway. So what we've got here is the battery negative which goes to here. Now when I plug B1 in, I should on screen get the battery voltage this is taken so many calculations and bloody it's it's unreal so now I've got to plug B1 in which is just shorting out on everything at the minute I've got nothing coming out of it ice cream here we go One point seven four five volts. Oh my god! It actually works. I'm going to do a bit more programming, and I'll come back. I am shaking. You won't believe the amount of hours I've spent on this. So either sitting here or lying down or what you know. I haven't plugged this wire in yet. This could either work, which I will be absolutely ecstatic about, or it'll pop it. Oh please work! Please work! There's been so much research and bloody everything gone into this it's actually coming up as high this prototype I have spent sitting up, working, lying down, whatever three f days working on it I looked on the underside of this and I've got two wires bridged literally by a head, a gnat's bollock, literally Anyway, it's working now. Hang on, I'll show you. So now, at the minute, all we're doing is reading cell 1 and cell 2, and they're completely isolated. You see, what I was getting on cell number 2 was 3 point, what's it, volts, which is the total of the battery. And I figured out it was because that ground wasn't switching, but now it is because <laughs> I've separated the wires. Now, the reason why I've started off with a TNC 3.5 is because it's 5 volt tolerant. If I use a 3.6 or a 4.1, they're only 3.3 volts tolerant per input, and I would have fried it. So what I've done is purposely discharged that thing down to um, below 2.5 volts per cell, and then I can actually do some safe readings without damaging anything. Now I know it works, I can build my circuitry off it and then I've got to do a lot of switching, very careful and calculated switching. I decided to do it in white, which was a very bad idea, purely because of copyright. Uh, when this is done, somebody is going to copy it and they're going to sit there with a freeze frame like that and they're going to look at all the wiring and they're going to go, oh, I know how that's done. So I'm going to do it in black, with black wires, just so as I've got a bit of copyright on it, I suppose. Well, copy restriction, because I know it's going to be copied purely because it's so simple, but very, very complex as well. If you've got a line of components like I've got on here that I've got to get soldered on, um, I don't use tape. Literally what I do is I get it on the side of the table there. So I put that edge up to the table and then I roll it across so as these things stay on the edge of the table and then you slide it along and they will stay in position. No need to use tape at all.
This place is like an absolute bomb site. <laughs> the one bad thing about using the black strip board is you can't really film it. It doesn't look very good. Uh, this might look complex, but it is. There's so much wiring on there. It's taken me well, close on three days to do that. Because it, you know, sitting up lying down. I couldn't do this full time because I, I can't do it. <laughs> this is a one off. And then I'm going to lie in bed and I'm going to design my own PCB. And I'm going to get one made. And then I'll be happy. Then I can start work on it properly, can't I? Anyway, I've got to wire the, the TNC up now, I think, to all the ports. And then I'll wire the battery leads up. Now this is only obviously a prototype test sort of thing, it's only, I think it will do about 12S, purely because of the limitations on the ports. So what I'm going to use, on a, on a future version, I'll use something like shift registers or multiplexers, I don't know yet. But that's the way that it's going to work, but it's near enough done actually. Uh, I've still got to cut all the tracks. I don't cut the tracks until last, I've learnt my lesson, uh, just in case you need to shift anything across. If you do, you're buggered if you cut them first. I'm slowly working my way through this and it is taking a long time uh, and it's causing a lot of pain unfortunately and I keep going on about it. I'm not moaning, I'm just saying this is why it takes so long. On here I've got 19 trigger ports, so I've got to wire up 19 triggers to one of the digital ports and then I've also got another 10 sense ports that I need that have got to be analog ports uh, which are going to have to be over this side so that's why I've put some of the wires over here these are all the triggers I haven't got enough pins on that side so I'm going to have to route it round and put some on that side so it's, it's getting there, but it's very, very slow. It's very, very, very slow. I've just finished cutting all the tracks. Um, plug the TNC in it, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Um, I'm sure all these are supposed to be linked across. <laughs>